Hey there, I uh, just wanted to make a video showing how I germinate uh, Ipomoea leptophylla, or bush morning glory. It is a uh, native shrubby variety of in the morning glory family that uh, grows out here in uh, the plains of North America. And um, I've heard a lot of people say that it's a challenging plant to germinate, and um, I've had really good luck if you prepare it right. My last batch had a 100% germination rate, so uh, it's not that problematic if you prep it right, and I wanted to show you how, so I'll get to that right now. All right, so I've got here Ipomoe leptophylla seeds. Collected these back in October. Um, you can see I got quite a few left. I've grown some out already, but here we are. Um, check them out there. Nice fuzzy little seeds, um, but they have a pretty impermeable seed coat, which is hurdle one, I would say, to successful growing. Um, if you do collect, watch out too. I've noticed that they have uh, a tendency to be bored through by something. I'm assuming a type of beetle, um, but uh, much like yucca, um, they're prone to, to having some issues. So I think I separated it out from all the seed I gathered. Maybe about a quarter had a hole bored through the side where something had eaten its way out. Um, but here you can see Nice little seed. If you look at it very closely, it's pretty fuzzy. Um, but, you know, this appears to be a viable one. And uh, how I prep it is through scarification. So I've got some 120 gray sandpaper. Something I've noticed, um, if you scarify along the tip of the seed coat, um, the cotyledons may emerge in a weird way. And I'll show you in the greenhouse later. Um, what happened to one of my plants, but um, if you go along the side there, that's usually enough. Uh, any surface other than the tip with the seed scar where it was attached to the mother plant, uh, you don't want to do that. Um, that's where your radical will be emerging from and you don't want to risk damaging anything. So I just give it a couple passes. check you will start to see some white and that is just the roughed up seed coat what you don't want to do is hit the embryo inside if you hit that embryo you're likely going to damage the cotyledons and uh, it'll just slow down the growth of your your plant more scratches, more passes. You'll start to chip away. It's okay if you take a chip off. You just don't want to go any deeper than that if you do so. Alright. That's getting pretty good. The main thing is you are providing access for water um, so that you can imbibe. It's called imbibation when the embryo starts to take a water. That's perfect. Let's get a closer look at that. All right, check that out. You can see where I've scraped it. There's a little bit of white showing right there and a little bit more scraped right there. And I had a few more scuffs along the back, but you do not want to go deeper than that. Um, you will likely damage the uh, embryo if you go any further. So at this point, uh, it's pretty easy. You're gonna take your seed and just plop it in some water. And uh, I just leave that for 24 hours. And uh, after 24 hours, you may even start to see some emergence. Um, I have had both. So um, now this is just regular tap water. I didn't do anything special at all. Uh, and just put it over in temperature place. I just stuck mine in a cabinet overnight and uh, sewed it the next day. It wasn't even a full 24 hours, but uh, a good overnight soak is really all it needs. And I'll uh, show you what you get. All right, out here in the greenhouse, I have got what, uh, 17, I believe, these going. And you can see they're getting nice true leaves coming through here. These are the cotyledons. 
which uh, I'm not sure if this is why they're given the species name leptophila but they do look a little a bit like butterflies um, I'm assuming it's because of their humongous beautiful flowers they get at maturity but here is what happened when I scraped up the tip of the seed opposite from the seed scar the cotyledons emerged out of that tip and uh, had kind of a hard time and as you can see this plant will be fine it's actually already got quite a few true leaves but uh, there you have it that is a mature one another thing to note the tap roots on these are gargantuan um, I've seen a photo online of a five foot long tap tap root that's probably about 10 inches wide um, it's humongous so you want to use some deep uh, deep cells or deep pots. I've got here the five inch tall Anderson tap die, uh, Anderson, Anderson die manufacturing pots uh, with some great space for air pruning the roots. Um, I think they'll be pretty happy in these uh, here. But as you can see, they are not wasting any time. I think of this guy. They're not wasting any time coming out the bottom of these. Some of them are just getting their true leaves. I had some uh, that had not fully even emerged and they already had a root popping out of my smaller cells. Uh, I think I had them in one about this size originally, which this is, uh, I think it's like a three inch. Uh, and they were coming out the bottom before they had even ditched their seed coat. Uh, so keep that in mind. You will want something uh, that can give them some room. Um, they do not like to have their roots tampered with too much, so getting them over to a deep pot as soon as possible is the way to go. So that is all there really is to it. Um, I found with that last batch I did. Uh, I think I had uh, first germination three to four days later. Um, so they go pretty quick once they get the water they need. Um, you can scarify again with sandpaper. Um, I have heard of some people scarifying larger seeds uh, in the legume family, Fabiaceae, with um, like a sharp knife. I feel like uh, I'm a little less prone to chop the end of my finger off using sandpaper though. So um, it's a bit more controlled than uh, trying to scratch the surface of a small round seed. Uh, so yeah, about four days later and they should be emerging. Uh, pretty pretty easy, honestly, once you uh, scarify them. Um, if you don't, it may take longer for that water to penetrate the seed coat. Um, so again, this is just another means of uh, stratifying via scarification. Um, and you should get pretty good success. That is all I have today. Um, give it a shot and let me know how it goes.